My name is Hannah, and this is my beauty budget. Hi. Hi, y'all. <laughs> I'm just filming a simple little video today. I'm going to swatch all of my brown lipsticks. As you know, if you've been following my channel, I didn't have any brown lipsticks going into my no buy year, and I actually didn't even really have any nude lipsticks. I just wasn't really familiar. To me, lipstick was like, you're either wearing a bold editorial lip, like a red or an orange or a bright pink, or you're wearing lip gloss or lip balm. That used to kind of be the way that I treated lipstick. Over the course of the no buy year, I started to really crave some nudes. So when I started budgeting this year, I started buying some nude lipsticks and I quickly learned that brown nudes are my category of preference. And I really, really focused on learning brown lipstick. At this point I have nine brown lipsticks. Nine lipsticks that I feel like can be called brown in any way. And I decided to just sit down and swatch them. This isn't a declutter. This is just something that I do frequently. I, I kind of sit down and swatch all of my makeup that falls into the same color category to get a better sense of how the shades fall with relation to each other, if I'm buying too much of the same thing, if I have too much of the same thing, and if there are any holes in the group of things that I have in that category, things that I would kind of like to look for and like to try. I'm just playing. So I'm going to play with these lipsticks. I'm going to swatch them. Let's go ahead and get into the meat of the video. So the first thing I'm going to do is to try to put these in color order without swatching them. I'm just going to try to put them in order, I think, from lightest to darkest and put similar colors close to each other so that when I swatch them, I'll be comparing side by side the ones that are the closest to each other in color. All right, that's my best guess. I did that quickly. I'm not really sure how it went. But that's my best guess. I will go through and tell you this is NYX London. This right here is the Infinite Lip Cloud from M Cosmetics in the shade Morning Mocha. It's one of their new shades and it's something that I bought with my budget this month. This is ColourPop's California Love. It's in their Blur Luxe lipstick formula. This is Raw Chocolate by Maybelline. This right here is a Joa lipstick called I'm Your Jelly Bay, and it's in the color Sweet Cheeks. This is currently in the Purgatory box, along with this one, which is also from Joa. This is a matte liquid lipstick called What a Matte, and it's in the color Peanut Butter. These two are both in the Purgatory box. Here we have the old standard in my life, which is NARS Het Low. And this right here was a limited edition Lancome lip lipstick, a collab with Parenza Schooler. It's just the Lip Kajal Duo in the, in the number 10. It's like a reddish brown Lip Kajal. And then here on the end is Maybelline Gone Grage, which is sort of like a gray mauve. I consider it to be one of my browns, but it's definitely the most different from all of these. It's like, these, these guys are like, you can't sit with us, but I'm like, yes, you can. All right, the back of this hand is stained because I just filmed a video in which I built a grungy rainbow eyeshadow palette and some of the eyeshadows stained this hand. So I think I'm going to do, there's a little bit of faint staining on this hand but it's not as bad. I'm gonna do my swatches on this hand. This is my dominant hand so it might be a little awkward because I'll be swatching with my left hand but I hope that we'll all survive that trial. I'm gonna start with NYX London. This is a soft matte lip cream and I think of it as sort of a yellow brown like a pale yellow pinky brown. All right, so there's NYX London. I'm trying to get good big swatches so we can really see the color. And here right next to it, I have the M Cosmetics Infinite Lip Cloud in Morning Mocha. And I just purchased this, and when it came in the mail, I was shocked at how much of a nude it is. 
I really thought it was gonna be a brown. When you look at them on the website, when you look at the pictures of this, it really looks brown. It looks like a, sort of like a milk chocolate, like a light chocolate brown, which is so unusual. And I got so excited when I saw the pictures, the release, because I was like, that's my dream. And then when I got it, it turned out that it's really not very different in color from rose nude and French nude. It's, it's different. It's more brown than the two of them, but it's really, really, it's got some rose undertones. You can tell that it's more pink than London. And it, it's definitely, it's my perfect nude. It is my perfect brown nude, but I was expecting it to be a little browner, a little edgier, to be honest, than it is. I'm not sorry that I have it. I've definitely worn it more than I've worn any other lip product in my collection since it arrived in my life a couple of weeks ago. And I think that it's going to end up being my holy grail nude. So I, I truly, truly love it. I just thought it was worth pointing out. I think you can probably already tell if you've been looking at the website and if you've seen the color that they're advertising, that it's just a, a little bit more natural than it looks like it's gonna be. A little bit less brown, a little bit more pink. All right, I just had to switch out my memory card and my battery, so I hope that everything is pretty much normal. I, I kind of had to reset the focus and everything. Let's move on. So right here I have the next one up. It's California Love. I'm actually not sure if this one's going to be the next one in the color line. Let's see. Uh... Yeah, actually, I think it's probably this one that should be next, which is the Joa lipstick, if we're trying to go in color order. And maybe, actually, this one. Yeah, okay, so let's go, let's do this. It looks like California Love is redder, and we're kind of moving in the red direction. So we're gonna go um, California Love last, and then, uh, what is this, raw chocolate, and then I think that peanut butter, which is this liquid lipstick from Joa, is probably the next one in, in the line if we're going by color. I'm glad that I'm swatching this one right next to Morning Mocha because this is what I thought Morning Mocha was going to look like. It's just a little bit more gray in undertone than Morning Mocha. It's more of a gray brown. And this color I love. I love. This is the color I hoped that I was buying when I bought this Infinite Lip Cloud. But the formula is just a decent matte liquid lipstick. It's long wearing, it's lightweight. It's a really lovely matte liquid lipstick, but I don't like matte liquid lipsticks. And the Infinite Lip Cloud is my all time favorite lipstick formula, really, ever. So I wish that I could have this color in this formula, but I don't. And I am not totally sure that I'm gonna keep this. It's still in the purgatory box. I need to wear it several more times. I'm very tempted to keep it because of the color and it, it's not horrible to wear. Like it's a pretty decent liquid lipstick. I just need to be realistic about how often I'm actually going to reach for it. So it's in purgatory right now and its fate is yet to be decided. All right, let's move on to the next Joa lipstick, which is the Jelly Bay Matte Gel Lipstick. And this is a formula that I actually love. I really, really love this. Okay, that's interesting. Color-wise, it is nearly indistinguishable from Morning Mocha, the M Cosmetics. It's definitely got a little more pink than the yellow of this London uh, lip cream by NYX. It's, that's kind of more yellow. These ones definitely have a little bit more pink, a little more pinky brown. And gosh, yeah, they're really, really, really close in color. I do love this formula, but again, this is still in the purgatory box. I have to decide what I'm gonna do about it. And this helps me really think about if I need two that are exactly the same color. One is in a liquid form and one is in a bullet form, but they're still both, you know, they're both sort of regular lipsticks. Neither one of them is a drying matte liquid lipstick. All right, we're moving now into the category of slightly darker browns. This is Maybelline Raw Chocolate, my pride and joy. And I did recently swatch this in a video next to Jelly Bay, next to the one from Joa, to find out how similar they were. And they are pretty similar, but the Joa one has a little more pink and a little more gray. 
and raw chocolate is just a little bit more ruddy. It's, it's got a little bit more red in it. It's like a reddish chocolate. And I really, 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 really love this color. It's like one of my all-time favorite lipsticks for sure. I love this color category, as you can tell. But you can see that they're not quite the same. And they look even less similar, I feel, on the lips. I think they give really, really different effects on the lips, even though they look so close in color. That slight ruddy undertone makes a huge difference in terms of how these colors interact with the rest of the makeup on my face. All right, here's ColourPop California Love. And I recently said in my video where I was ranking all of the lipsticks that I, or not all the lipsticks, but all of the makeup and skincare and clothing and homewares, all the items that I purchased with my budget, I recently said that I kind of regretted buying this one because the formula is so slippery and silicone-y and it just doesn't stay on the lips. You can eat, I can even see, I don't know if you can see, but it's got kind of like a sheer sheen to it kind of like a primer, like kind of like a stick primer. And indeed, you know, that primers are frequently silicone. But I recently, I don't know why I was doing it, but I clicked on an old video of mine and I was wearing this and I was like, what lipstick is that? It looks so beautiful. I love it. And then I saw in the description box that it was this color. So I still really, really love the color. I'm curious to see if either of these next two ha are pretty similar in color. In fact, I'm actually going to swatch Het Low directly underneath Ca California Love so that I can see how similar they are. So Het Low is a little darker. They're really, really similar in tone, but Het Low is a little darker. And then this is a Lancome one. And it's redder. I always think of this as a real brown, but it's actually redder. It's kind of more of a berry. Uh, yeah, it's actually, it's like a berry. Wow, that's interesting. I feel like I'm almost, almost categorizing it wrong. It's definitely redder than I expected. But I feel like I'm seeing that California Love, color-wise, it does have its own place. It's like slightly redder than raw chocolate. It's enough redder for me to feel like there are two different lipsticks. And it's definitely sort of lighter, softer, and more berry toned than Het Low, which really looks like kind of a dark brown right now, actually, compared to all these other ones. And then this one is the berriest of them all. So they really all look different to me. <laughs> They're all different to me. All right, let's watch this last one, which is going to be the most different. This is Maybelline Gone Grage. The thing that makes it the most different is that it's got a cool undertone. It's it's a brown with a cool undertone. It's sort of like a grayish mauve. But the one that it has the most in common with, as you can see, is peanut butter up here. And I think that maybe what I was wishing for with Morning Mocha was just a slightly cooler undertone. And on the website, it seemed to promise a slightly cooler undertone, but it is in fact still quite warm. These ones are kind of like my two cool toned browns that I own, and all of the rest of these are various shades of warm brown. Well, interesting. This has been really enlightening. I feel like if I were someone who was intense about not having color dupes in my collection, I would be wanting to let go of this Joa lipstick, but I'm going to keep wearing it and see how much I enjoy wearing it and see if I love it. It's just so, so similar to Morning Mocha, which is, again, a very beautiful color and probably at the end of the day more wearable and something that I will use more frequently than I would use a lipstick in this grayish brown color. That's it you guys. This is all I was doing. This is it's like something that I would have sat around and done on my own and I just decided to do it on camera. Let me know if you like this style of video. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see me swatch in terms of little micro collections inside my larger makeup collection. And don't forget to take extra good care of yourself this week so that you can be the most effective version of yourself as you do your work in the world.